I really should use this cinematic thing more often. It's freaking cool. This is Brandon, and I have a pretty weird life. I mean, I'm a dad, I have a demanding cat, and I own a Sci TV, a streaming television network that puts me on a never-ending road filming awesome people in awesome places all over the nation. So I'm inviting you to come along for the ride and see what it takes to run a Sci TV. And I'm doing the van life thing while having fun, amazing, tasty, and weird adventures. Are you ready? It's the Asai TV life. This just looks great though, especially for what I do. I'm gonna use this for a lot of shows on Asai TV. I already started with Renee and uh, it's just cool. Just gotta get the audio better and I'm good. Maybe I can put this on top of my camera somehow. Figure that out. You never get sick of that view, I'll tell you that. So uh, that feels more like I'm in, back in the country, yeah. home country. Yeah. Now, did you ever wear that type of clothing outside of the home? I have, oh yeah. And how did you, did you feel any type of, I guess? So what, ah, dropping you. Hi. So what that was is, that's Ann Keat. He's the author of the book, I Love You Apu. And we're filming a documentary about, basically about, Indian native, uh, not native Indian, that's that's wrong. What, is, what am I saying? People of Indian descent from India, Nepal, and Raj is from Nepal, and their existence here in the United States, and the stereotypes of like Apu and things like that, and Keat is for it. Uh, it's kind of a counteraction from uh, some statements made by a comedian that's against it. So it's a documentary that might take me to in uh, India and, and all over the world, and it's um, very exciting very interesting in my opinion and uh, I'm, I'm proud to be a part of it and then Keith's a good friend so it's always good to do stuff with good friends and I think we'll be traveling a lot and yeah man it's just uh, another thing it's some boxes or something huh? yeah what have, you, what have you done huh <laughs> what have you done <laughs> it's like I made some good choices yeah look yeah. at this no carb thing I got going on here <laughs> a little bit of carbs in the lettuce but that's it maybe the sauce that thing is mammoth. Yeah. <laughs> Can I get you anything else right now? I uh, know. Good. There's more carbs on this plate than I've eaten in three months. So here's a nice little taste of one of the new episodes of New York Ham. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Uncle Lenny. You know, right Eddie here was from meant New York for this. Ham, and we're back. But we ain't going simplistic this time. I'm gonna take you to a place called Batsu. So when I'm not on the road or getting stuff done around town here, filming anywhere, then this is what I'm doing, is editing everything that I've filmed. And I have a lot. I have to get Renee's show together. I got two more episodes of New York Ham to do. I got Call to Adventure to do. I've got um, on the roadside. I'm forgetting like 10 of them because I'm a little overwhelmed by how much stuff I have to edit, but I have till the middle of June to get it done. And after my next trip, which is late April to mid May, I have nothing planned except for sitting in this chair, listening to that cat meow and staring at these screens and uh, putting all these things together. Base right. things, and you build from there, and so then we have Going to school today? Yep. <laughs> okay. Waiting a bit. Ooh. I don't think he ever sleeps. Smell the bone, the turkey bone, nice. Ooh, that smells good, doesn't it? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this mm. music clip from Watch Rock. All right. We got him here, we got me here, we got the turkey bone. Here we go. We do this every time. Get a good firm grip. Hey, you're a little high there, mister. All right. Closer to the camera just to make sure it's all legit. And three, two, pull. Oh, it's a tough bump. Oh, you like really won. You know, like yours is way, way more than my pathetic little bone. So now you get to make a wish. 
What's your wish? My wish is for all of your wishes to come true. Um, or cut. You gotta put the bone in your mouth and wish. No. <laughs> Take your teeth with you. I am playing with my new toy. Eee. Look at my new toy, everybody. Gato Diablo, devil cat. I got that at the Beetle House. I got it for you, pretty girl. If you're wondering what's up with the weird lighting, I'm filming slash recording uh, It's Complicated, which is yet another podcast that I do. Uh, this one with Chantel, who you met a few episodes ago. Uh, she's the host of uh, Call to Adventure, yes. What, am I not laying down enough? I'm sorry, I'm, I have to get up and, and do stuff. I'll make a living doing stuff like this. Anyway, I got all the, the mood lights in the back, so it actually looks kind of cool, if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it or not. But uh, she's gonna log on here in about a half an hour. I'm just getting stuff set up. All righty, all righty, all righty, all righty. Alrighty, alrighta, alrighta, like the tater tots. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Oh, oh boy. Here we are again, waiting for Nita. Not her fault, I'm just always chronically early. I'm going to use this with her this time instead of whipping out all the camera ba cameras and stuff in there. I'm gonna film with this phone and that phone. And uh, got a nice little quiet space. There's horses, of course. There's uh, Native American stuff, teepees and wigwams or whatever they're called. And there's a doggo. Look, they got little mints. Are these decorative or are they actual mints? Oh, it says Jolly Rancher on them. I think that's what that says. But no, it says from. What is that? What are these? Eat it. I just want to know what it is. Is it a Jolly Rancher? Oh, I mean, it's a little candy thingy. Do you see where it's at? Hey, do you see? Ah! Terrible. Yes, call an ambulance. Uh, who eats these? Who puts these out for other people to eat? Yeah, they're shiny and pretty, but no! Because I'm a child, I would love to scare them as they get off the elevator. Can I time this out correctly? She has her children with her too. I'd love to scare them. Yeah. Hello. Hello, children. Oh my God. I got well, you. I got hey, you. Hey you. Hey you. I got you. I got you. I got you. You're scared. <laughs> You're scared. You're scared. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Here we go. Cool. Well, that was fun. It is awesome. I uh, got to scare the kids, which makes my day. My meeting went to a different place. Like, apparently, there's something else called the exchange. The only exchange that I know is the mining exchange where we were just filming at. Anyway, um, I guess she's going to head this way, and I'm in the van waiting for her. The new toys, the new phone with the cinematic mode and the new lighting, uh, awesome. I'm really excited to put these together because I, I love playing with new stuff. New stuff is new stuff. I love new stuff. You jerking it in here? No, I was changing clothes. You're wearing pants? Yeah. You see. brought that all the way down here, man? Oh, goodness. See? Yeah, that's just that's just awful. <laughs> Why would you bring that all the way down here? You could have stuffed it in my apartment. I didn't have your key. Oh, well, that's good to know. So a couple days ago, I won't blame Chewy because they were very good to us, but they uh, sent me a box where everything inside was destroyed. All the cat treats and everything I had ordered. But the cat litter, which you can see, two giant gallons of here came I got, this feels like another cat litter I think they gave me a free cat litter who knows 
I'm just wondering if the treats are inside. Nope, they packaged it the same damn way they did before. They just got lucky this time and it didn't break. Here you go, kitty kitty. It's your favorite catnip fever treats. Where'd you go? Yep, where does the big celebrity that I am go to get his hair cut? I don't know why, but they always seem to do a pretty good job. Bulb. Keep the length on top, huh? I guess a little bit. <sighs> or don't. <laughs> I'm bulb. Look at the back of that truck. It has that truck on it. What if he drew it? What if he was like looking at a picture of his truck while he was painting his truck? He's a balloon artist. He's a balloon artist. Get out of the way, you dick. Ah. I can't see because of this dumbass. He's a balloon artist. That's why he's the magic man. There's his phone number. If you're in Colorado Springs and you need balloons done. Hell yeah. How many balloons do you want him to make you, the magic man? What would you get right now if the magic man was in a room with us making balloons? What animal would you get? What animal? Speak. Dog. Okay, fine. Magic man. Magic man. He's going to pull away and we're going to catch his phone number. I'm going to call him. Like, can you order, can you make us one dog, please? <laughs> Just one. No, we don't need you for a party. It's weird. There you go, Magic Man. Magic Man. There's a little known secret about me. I'm just going to come out and say it. I, uh, never told anybody this before. Never felt the need to tell anybody this before. But I've never once in my life that I'm aware of have I ever had spam. At least not the hickory smoke. I have had spam masubi. I take all that back. I lied straight to your face. Straight to your face, and I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Don't don't be upset with me, okay? I, there's too much anger in the world right now, and I don't need any more directed at me, so just, I'm sorry. Take the apology. Move on. But I've never had hickory smoke spam. I heard it was really good. Now, there's a toss-up between this and the jalapeno spam, but, uh, I have jalapeno peppers here, so I'm going to fry up some freaking Spam. Right, first off, happy eggs. Let's see, I should fry it in some Kerrygold butter, which they only had the sticks, but that's fine. Okay, that should be enough. Spam, 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 spam. Spam and eggs. Spam, 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 and eggs. And of course I have super coffee. I mean, that's what I poured in there. Super, super coffee. They should sponsor us. They really, really should. Not bad. I mean, it's not bad fried. I don't think I could eat Spam if it was raw. But, you know, when it's in here, that beautiful egg. Some jalapenos and cheese. Crispy. It's good. Here we are again. Fourth time since November. And there'll be a fifth time as soon as I get back from this trip. It's getting... Look at my hair. It's very... 80s punk rock-ish. I don't know what the hell's going on with that. Huh. Looks good from some angles. Like, it looks good right here. If I go this side, it looks like I'm out of my mind. Anyway. Fourth time I've gotten an oil change on this. Every time they try to get me for uh, super expensive things that I could do myself or are just not needed. Huh. I always expect to spend about a hundred bucks every time. Why is it cold out? It looks like it's beautiful out, but it's like 35 degrees out right now. Anyways, I'm gonna go down to Sprouts, get all the food and everything that I need for this trip. This trip's gonna be a long one. Hello. 
Didn't we just do this recently? <laughs> oh, it really stinks in here. Oh, look what they have here. Are you kidding? I've been looking for this. Look at the lady up so high. What does the underneath of my truck look like? Oh, it's leaking. Wrong way. So that's what the underneath looks like, huh? Is that my spare tire? Is that really where that's at? I had no idea that's where my spare tire was at. Thanks so much for listening. I'll the duck of home studio. In our home. I'll see you in a couple weeks. You're out of it, aren't you? That can happen. Sorry. It will never happen. You look like it you're out of it. Hopefully we get Charlotte. I love you. Night. Have day. a good day. I really do hope we I'll call that. you every day. Charlotte You'll have me answer every other day. Love you. Who get so pissed off when you say Charlotte is so good and Charlotte is headed so Oh, this teenage shit, I tell you. <laughs> I remember being a kid, his age, and just, I don't know. He doesn't need to be overly emotional like I am. I'm totally overly emotional about everything, especially like right now when I'm watching him walk to school and I'm not gonna see him for a couple weeks that can bring the waterfall out of the face. But you never know what can happen, you know? Two weeks is kind of a long time sometimes. I mean, it's a blip on the radar as far as life goes, but this is going to be the longest I've never seen them. I've said that many times, but these trips keep getting longer and longer and longer. There he goes. So that affects me. It really does. It, I, Never happy. Never happy, am I? So when I'm home, I'm itching to get on the road. When I'm on the road, I just want to stay home. And again, I just wish everybody was in the same little spot. I envy those people that grew up and they currently live in their, in their hometown and they married their high school sweetheart and all their kids live with them full time. And, you know, they got a job where their dad worked and their grandparents worked or they're in the family business or whatever. You know, it's... I. I 10% of me envies that. And if that's you, fantastic. Congratulations. That's that's what you're doing. 10% of me envies that. The uh, the rest of me is, wouldn't change a thing, which is cool. All right. Deep breath. Well, I got shit to do. Take it easy. I'm only leaving to do laundry. <laughs> but my cat sees me carrying all these bags of lights and things out. She's under the desk. She's not happy. Anyways, I'm doing laundry. All I really have left to do is pack up food, and then when the laundry's done, pack up clothes. Stick it in my box, stick it in the van. Set up my cameras. I have a lot of cameras in here. I've got three in the living room alone, one in the bedroom, one on the outside. Huh. There's a lot of little things I gotta do, like wrap up phone cords and everything else is pretty much ready to go. I'm getting kind of good at this shit. o'clock at night I'm uh couldn't sleep I wanted to and my brain's like hey you're wide awake and I fell asleep for like two three hours and I guess that's enough so the cameras are all set up so if you want to break into my house when I'm gone you will be seen you will be captured you'll be recorded so don't do that oh I got one more camera right here okay that's open now 
You got the one in the room going. The ring outside is uh, nice and charged up. Here we go again. Poor girl. All right, don't make me sad. I love you so much. I know you're gonna give me hell again when I get back, but, but sleep it off. I'll be back before you know it, okay? You got lots of people coming to check on you, okay? Oh, she's not happy. <laughs> she does not want me to go. Oh my goodness, Kitty, you're killing me. What are you saying that I'm not pronouncing Gerard Carmichael properly? What is so I'm heading back home. <laughs> I forgot all my food that I was going to bring with me. I have a whole bag of food in the refrigerator. I completely forgot all of it. So I don't want to uh, end up having to... I debated whether just to buy more stuff and not have to turn around. But I'm literally five minutes from my house. So that'd be really, really stupid. Big old bag of food. Oh, it's heavy. Hi, kitty. Come here, baby girl. All right, let's try this again. <sighs> Duh. This is what I was going to tell you the other day. Uh, love the Oprah Godfrey that I'm putting in. I would say I am probably... It's my goal tonight to get as far as I can. I'm thinking I could probably get about four hours in. Roll that up for you so you can hear me. It's, uh, it's 1045 now. I've only been on the road for half an hour, but pretty sure that I can drive to about two, three in the morning. That way it's a, it's a 14 hour drive. I got 13 and a half left. So if I can knock out as much as I possibly can tonight, which I am pretty wide open, uh, wide awake, wide open. And, um, uh, yeah, I don't know how far I'll get. I have no idea, but as soon as I start getting a little sleepy and I see a Cracker Barrel, that's when this uh, first little leg of the trip will come to a halt. To a co to come to a halt. Hey, look! It's downtown Denver. All right, we're making we're making some some we're covering some ground now. We're, oh, look! It's Meow Wolf. I love Meow Wolf. It looks really cool at night. I've actually, never seen it at night. Awesome. Love that place. I've never heard of this place before. Fat dogs, you are nowhere. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I hope they have a sticker because I'm going to go in and get one. All right. Pretty cool little gas station. I got showers and all the regular gas station stuff. Jamming some prints in the background. Liquor. Everything you need for the road. It's not quite Bucky's, but I can get a raccoon hat here. Want to. All right. Yep. It's a tradition now. Every time I'm on the damn road, I got to get one of these mixed up cheddar caramel kettle popcorns. And I got my first sticker. It's a really big, it's a really big sticker. I don't know where it's going to go. I am starting to get to be sleepy, Brandon. It is, I've lost an hour, so it's, or it's 4.21 a.m. in Colorado, 5.21 where I'm at right now. Starting to do a little bit of a, not nodding, but just starting to, starting to feel it. <laughs> it is, it is 5.21 in the morning, so I'm um, at this point just looking for a place to pull over, put some shades in the windows, and pass out for about five or six hours. Oh boy, good morning. It is, what time? anyone see what time it is? Let me guess, 9.45. Nine twenty-five. Wow. Mm. So I got about four hours of sleep. Man, no, I gotta pee. Gotta pee. Oh, 
Super Coffee. Sponsor me. Just trying to figure out what that noise was this morning. There's this dude right here bouncing a basketball. Just standing there, bouncing a basketball. That's what woke me up. That's all right. He's got every right to stand there and bounce a basketball. No matter how badly I want to stick that basketball, uh, yeah. But no, I mean, it's just, there's no signs that say you can't bounce a basketball right there. How is he to know that I'm supposed to be sleeping you know, in a van? Yeah. I ended up not getting gas there because the pumps weren't working and they wanted me to go inside, which I really don't want to go inside. I don't need gas. I have three quarters of a tank. I was just going to top it off. But then I get a fraud alert on my phone that said that they charged me $150 just to attempt to get gas. And then I hit something on my phone and then it said it locked up my, my debit card. So I had to make a phone call, and now they unlocked it, and they didn't charge me. So I hate stuff like that so much. That whole gas thing where they charge you like 75 bucks or 100 bucks just to just to get gas, just to use your card, and they give it back, but it's still very, very annoying, especially when you're on a road trip. And that, that card is my one, my one card, so. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's like right there. Uh, right there somewhere, I don't know. Now it's behind some trees, but does, does Nebraska really need like a skyscraper? <laughs> so I just got a really good phone call from uh, uh, Sharky's, uh, damn it, Water Sports, Sharky's Glass Bottom Boat Tours. Uh, one of those dot com, look it up if you want to see what I'm talking about. Uh, for Eva Lisa's show, which we'll be doing on the 9th of May. Uh, which has already happened if you're watching this and Not only do we get to do the shoot with Ivalice, which is awesome because that sounds like a whole it's like a nighttime LED lit up fish tour boat kayaking thing uh, It's hard to explain but it's it, he, he sent pictures and it looks awesome But not only do we get to shoot but he's gonna pay me to stay another day and film all of his locations and everything. So I got an opportunity to make a few dollars on this trip. That's kind of nice. That's a rarity for me. I normally uh, film all the stuff and we make money on the back end. When you, yes, you go to AsaiTV.com or Roku or Amazon Fire or Apple TV and get Asai TV for five bucks a month. But you know, it's uh, kind of nice to pick up gigs when you're on the road. is super unleaded cheaper this was like 450 something for regular unleaded I'm very very confused on all of this it's weird not peeing in a bottle while you're driving this is much easier It's cool uh, stopping here again. Yeah, it's a cool place. It's big, it's neat, cool stuff. But I'm really looking forward to stopping at Bucky's when I get down to Florida and Texas and all that on this trip. But this will do for now. Probably get some gas while I'm here too, why not? All right. I swear we just did this, didn't we? Like twice, about eight videos ago. Can't really go wrong with a gnome. So, gnomes it is. There is really nothing healthy to eat here whatsoever. Like, <laughs> I'm just gonna have to stop at a grocery store and stock up on avocados or something. Ooh, do they have a license plate? I didn't get a license plate last time. Hey, doggo. Iowa, 
Iowa, Iowa, Illinois. Wham. Actually caught the sign this time, all right. All right. 404 gallon, fantastic. All right, yeah. It is a windy asshole out here in near the Windy City. Oh, I get it now. I am in the parking lot of a Maria Canellis and a Mike Bennett. Oh, went in to say hi. Dropped off some gnomes for their awesome kids, and they do have awesome kids. If you've watched the Bennett's on a side TV, you'll know. I'm not gonna walk in there with my phone in their face and be like, hey, can you do something for my YouTube show? I try not to be lame and intrusive. Um, sometimes I am. Exhausted. It was a long drive, but as always, made it. And tomorrow we're going to film all day with the Bennetts. And then the next day, and then I drive to Rhode Island. And then the next day we're filming with all day at the Bennetts. <laughs> so we're going to get two great episodes of their show, their personal show. And uh, I'm going to film their documentary for uh, Women's Wrestling Army. And then, um, then the next chapter. But tonight it's all about burritos and watching a little TV until I pass the F out. One quick peek. Tomatoes and onions and guac. I would never do that before. Low carb deal here. Of course, cheese and chicken, whatever. Looks pretty damn good to me.